In the previous video, we retopologized our character's head based on the sculpted model that we see here. Um, in this video, we'll continue to do that by uh, finishing off the retopology for the entire body and also the insides of the mouth and the eyes. I just made the legs a little bit longer because the proportions seemed a little bit off. Um, again, the so cartoon character doesn't matter too much. Uh, having references will always help, but anyways. So without further ado, let's go ahead and complete the retopology. So what I want to do is I want to start off by working on the arms because it's relatively easy. Tab into edit mode and um, start off by adding a loop that goes around the arms. So uh, let's start off at the elbow because it's easy. So I'm just going to go ahead and control click. What that, oh, sorry. Make sure nothing is selected at the moment. So press A, A again. Press A to make sure everything's selected and A again to ensure that nothing is selected. Now I'm going to zoom in and control click on one of those edges there. So that will create a new vertex. So from there I can just hit E to extrude and that will create a new edge. Now select both those vertices and simply control click to add a loop, to, to add a new face, like so. Then I'm going to keep control clicking around, oops, sorry, like so, to fill uh, this, to fill this loop. So let's go around once more and then finally finish it off by selecting those two and filling it. Now I'm just going to go ahead and tweak it so that, um, again, I think the normals here are wrong. So I want to select this whole loop here by hovering my mouse over this loop and hitting L. And then going under shading UVs and just hit flip direction. So that should now look correct. Now I'm just going to go ahead and tweak the vertices so that it lines up uh, pretty much to our initial sculpt. Now I'm going to select, oh, let's move this shape this up a little bit more. Let's select this loop over here. Uh, we're going to turn off the magnet tool because um, if I put the magnet tool on and then extrude out, uh, it can become messy. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to turn off the magnet view so it doesn't uh, affect the vertices behind. And so we have something that looks like that. Cool, so now let's position this so that it looks correct. Okay, select that loop over here and I'm just going to go ahead and control click right towards this loop so it'll automatically add our loop there and again it's just a matter of positioning them so that it is um, we have more even spacing between them okay that's looking good I'll do the same with this so select this loop here and control click over here oops I made a mistake, that's very messy. Turn off the magnet tool and then control click over here. Cool. Um, yep, so now from here, I'll just move this downwards a little. This can be a bit tricky because the arms are not posed in a T-shape, which I actually should have done in modeling, when, when modeling a steady character, but no need to worry for this case. Let's just position them so that it looks Correct, I'll turn the magnet tool back on for this one. Just try to create a straight line. Okay, so we have the arms done. I'm just going to go ahead and add in a, a loop here, maybe two loops over here and two loops over here just to add a bit more definition to our arms. And for that part, for the most part the arms are done. I might just add in some small loops over here. The reason why I'm adding small loops at every joint, so you can see there's one, there's uh, small loops over here as well, it's because that's where the arm bends. It's looking good. Turn off the magnet tool again, extrude out once more. Turn on the magnet tool again and Okay, so the arms are now done. So this, I'm, I'm literally going to do the exact same thing I did here with the legs as well, because it's relatively easy. So actually, I'm just going to do this in time lapse.
this stage I have something that looks like that. So we have the arms and the legs pretty much completed in terms of good topology. Um, I didn't completely finish the legs yet because uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you in real time uh, how I will uh, finish off the modeling of this leg. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude once more upwards like so. Then I'm going to try to and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move these vertices over here on the edge uh, all the way to where the hips would be like so. I'm going to try to create a sort of straight line that just goes, deviates in that kind of direction. Okay, our legs are now complete. So now we can start to work on the torso. Exactly the same way, I'm just going to add, say, a loop. Uh, let's just start over here, maybe. I'm just going to add in a loop that... Uh, so I just extrude it from the right in the middle so I ensure that uh, the clipping will take effect. i am just move it to somewhere where I want to start off with. So I'll start off just under the chest maybe. And I'll just add extrude out and turn off clipping for a second. And I'll just move the vertices out like that. Turn the clipping back on again. And then simply just keep extruding it out until you encase the entire body. Uh, and turn on the magnet tool as well. I call the magnet tool, it's actually called the uh, snap during transform tool. That's the correct way to call it, I think. Uh, and just extrude it here. And like that is okay. And it's just a matter of just extruding it down. And just to keep doing that. Let's turn it down. Let's turn it down. Let's turn it down. But maybe over here and here we will turn on proportional editing and we'll move this so that it comes across as that kind of a shape like so I'm going to add in one more loop over here just to round things out a little bit Oops. okay let's square it out a little bit Now it's simply a case of connect the dots. So I'll just extrude this out once and maybe merge this one with that one and uh, extrude this out once, fill this out as a face, oops, fill this out with a face. Uh, Maybe we'll merge this one as well, Alt M at center, and then fill this out with a face to complete that. Okay. Okay, I might remove this loop, might be too much detail. So set, select that, uh, Alt right click that edge loop, X. Sorry. So Alt right click that edge loop, X uh, dissolve edge loops. Yeah, that should be good. Now we just connect these two. So Alt M at center. This one as well, Alt M at center. This one as well, Alt M at center. This one, Alt M at center. Uh, do we have. Maybe the, le the leg could use a bit more detail here. So add in a loop here. And then Alt M at center. 
Welcome in at center and here as well. Yeah, I guess the, the leg could use it. Yeah, I guess the leg could use a bit more detail here as well. So, Alt M at center. And these two Alt M at center. Perfect. Well, if I now look at the body on its own, the legs are now connected to the lower part of the torso. So that's looking good. Cool. Um, now let's do the upper part of the torso. So the chest area, in other words. So let's extrude up on the z-axis. I might just do a little bit of a extrusion up, like so, uh, and then here as well. Extrude up once more on the z-axis. Now just yeah, that should do that should do it for now. These ones are starting to lose the square shape, so I'm just going to space these out so that they're more squarely shaped. Okay, so now what I want to do is I'm just going to add in a loop that goes around the arms. So let's go E to extrude, to extrude. Let's rotate it a bit like this. E over here. Like that, then like this, then like that, then like that. I'm when I, the number of times that I choose to extrude, I'm sort of lining it up with the arms. So I'm consciously doing, uh, consciously counting it as well inside my head. And finally I'll just fill it up with this space here. So let's now fill up this face. Then let's go around and just keep filling it up. Because I consciously counted it. I actually didn't count it too well to be honest. Um, I guess it should theoretically fill up correctly. Just need to manually readjust the vertices. This part gets a little tricky. I'll come back to this a little later. Okay, and for the neck, so I might just add in a loop over here. And I'll just do a simple one, two simple fill over here and a simple fill over here and then simply just select these two these two control F grid fill oh no that's not correct one two three oh there's three uh, okay so maybe we'll just delete this edge over here and select that one okay now select these two control F grid fill that should look correct might just add in one loop over here for more, or maybe two loops over here for more definition. The correct topology for the chest generally has loops that goes around over here into the arms. So I'm going to delete that vertice there and that edge there. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to extrude it out so that it comes like that and then like that. And then I want to connect this vertex to that vertex, Alt M at center. So that we have a, what I'm trying to do is um, I'm trying to create a loop that goes around from the bottom of the chest to around the biceps, sorry, to around the deltoids, that, that little ball at the top uh, of your biceps. So that's that's purely what I'm doing. So I'm just literally making it up right now. And maybe I'll just extrude these bits out like so, and then simply just connect it up, connect it up with this. So that we have a more proper topology of the arms and the chest. And then now this part here is just literally filling in the puzzle. Um, how will I fill this one in? Oh yeah, so from this side, I need to do the same thing. So we will cut, the, actually we, we can reuse this one. I'll just merge this vertex to that one. So Alt M at center. 
and then just extrude it out so that we have so that we have a loop that's going around from the bottom of the chest to around the top of the biceps or the deltoids and then through the back yeah I think that's looking correct so as long as we I get that kind of a shape there that's good enough of course I'll move these ones a little down down further let's move this out this out as well okay so we have that kind of a shape and Oops, I'll extrude this out, scale it in, move the vertices as, move the vertex. So I just need to fill that up and also create that kind of a loop. Just fill this part up over here with a f oops. Fill this part with a face. Subdivided one, two, three, four. Four times, I guess. And then select this four and then control F could fill. Oh no. Fill this with a face, subdivided twice. Looking. Okay, let's try this. Fill that with a face. Fill that with a face, subdivided. Four, fill, fill. Now if I do one, two, three, four, five. Two, three, four, five. Control F, grid fill. There we go. Okay, now I simply just fill this up. One, two. Um, we will just fill this up like so. One, two, three, four. Fill that. Four, fill that. One, two, three, four. Fill that. Perfect. So I think I've left out a little bit of an area here. I think I just fill that up with a face. Should be good enough. One, two, three, four. So I think the uh, body is now completed. If you'd rather just get the completed 3D model, please click on the link below. And also please subscribe, like and share and I hope to see you in the next video.